Hi guys, this is your boy Fam. So once again, welcome back after the Ramadan. If this is your first time, please subscribe and like and comment. It's your boy Fam's once again. Welcome back. So today our topic is going to be about renting house in Italy here. We all know that to rent a house in Italy here, it become a very very difficult tax to rent a house in Italy here. My brothers and sisters, it's a very very difficult tax to rent a house in Italy here. You understand? So please, you have to take your time to rent a house in Italy here. Any document you are signing with the owner of the house, you have to know what is inside that contract. You have to know all the information inside that contract paper. Before signing any contract, you have to know what is inside that contract. If you cannot read and write, please find someone who can read and understand that contract and explain it to you in your language to understand what is inside that contract before you sign any document because very important for you to understand what is contained in that contract because that contract can put you you very very big problem in italy here so my brothers and sisters any document you are signing in italy here you have to know what is containing in that paper you have to know what is containing inside that document before you sign any document in italy here so my brothers and sisters any contract any house contract you are signing you have to take your time read the document and know what is inside that contract before you sign any document so my brothers and sisters Let's watch this video till the end and we will understand the renting of the house and know the rules and the regulation how to rent a house in Italy here. What Italian people said, dritti and dovere in Italy here about the renting of the house. Ciao, impariamo a conoscere l'Italia. In questo video Diritti e doveri del cittadino. La casa. Quando decidi di prendere una casa in affitto, è obbligatorio fare un contratto di affitto. Come deve essere il contratto di affitto? Il contratto di affitto deve essere scritto, firmato da te e dal padrone di casa e deve contenere tante informazioni. Per esempio, quanto paghi ogni mese per l'affitto, quanti anni dura, come comportarsi se c'è bisogno di fare dei lavori in casa. Il contratto deve poi essere registrato. Cioè? Il proprietario di casa deve portare una copia del contratto all'Agenzia delle Entrate. Registrare il contratto di affitto Significa rispettare la legge. E ricorda, significa anche avere più crediti per l'accordo di integrazione che hai firmato. Quante persone possono vivere tutte insieme dentro la stessa casa? In casa puoi vivere da solo, con la tua famiglia, con i tuoi amici, con chi vuoi. Ma una casa non può essere sovraffollata. Sovraffollata? Troppe persone tutte insieme non possono stare nella stessa casa. Ogni persona deve avere, per legge, uno spazio minimo e sufficiente per vivere bene. Che cosa significa subaffitto? Significa dare una parte di una casa affittata per esempio una stanza, ad un'altra persona che pagherà dei soldi per vivere in quella stanza. In Italia è possibile subaffittare una casa? Sì, 
ma solo se è previsto dal contratto di affitto. E se voglio ospitare qualcuno, per esempio un amico, senza chiedergli soldi? È possibile ospitare gratuitamente persone. Ricorda però che è obbligatorio informare la questura al massimo dopo due giorni dall'arrivo a casa tua di queste persone. Un'ultima domanda. In Italia è possibile tenere in casa animali? Quasi sempre è possibile tenere in casa cani e gatti, che infatti sono chiamati animali domestici, proprio perché spesso vivono in casa. In Italia è assolutamente vietata la macellazione. Questo significa che uccidere un animale domestico è un reato grave. Ma non solo. È un reato grave anche abbandonare gli animali, lasciare per esempio il cane lungo una strada e andare via. A house. You are renting a house. The owner of, a, the, the, owner of the apartment bring a contract paper and said you sign a contract of house. You don't know what is containing in that contract of house. You don't understand the language and you just come and sign that document. Okay. What is inside that contract? You don't know. And you just come and sign that document. In tomorrow, if that document come against you, It can create a big problem for you, which it can bring you more problem in Italy here. But before all that, brothers and sisters, before you sign something, before you sign any document in Europe here, whatever you did not understand, please find someone who can translate something for you, we can translate a document for you to understand in your own language or in any language you can understand before you sign any document. That's my advice for you. Okay, in this apartment contract, in this house contract, you are renting. If you rent a house, if you want, you can live alone because you sign a contract with the owner of the house. If you already sign a contract with the owner of the house, you confirm all the information inside the contract You are agreed with the owner of the house. You confirm all the information inside the contract. You are agreed. But don't sign a contract which you know that you don't sign a contract which you know that you did not understand what is containing inside the contract. You sign it already. You cannot go back. If you sign any contract, if you sign any contract between you and the owner of the uh, owner of the house you cannot go back if you have a problem with the owner of the house if the contract is in favor of the owner of the house if you have problem with him you cannot go back you understand because if you rent a house between you and the owner of the house you have the right you have the right to invite anybody in that house You understand? If you want, you can live alone in that apartment. If you want, you can invite your family inside that house. If you want, you can invite your friends. But the house, you cannot sovra in folata. Sopra in folata means you cannot, you cannot bring many people inside that house to stay together you cannot bring so many people inside that house to stay together everybody have to have a minimum space to live in that house but you cannot bring many people inside that house to live together no if they said you have right to bring anybody inside that house but they don't say you bring many people as you want everybody have to have a minimum space to live together. You have right to bring your family. You have right to bring your, your friends. And you even have right to rent that house, to rent the room 
to somebody else to pay money you have the right and you have the right also to give a room to someone which you know that the person will not pay any money to you you have that right but you don't have the right to bring many people as you want in that house to stay many people to to stay together many many people in that house plenty people in that house to stay together because every everyone have your own privacy you cannot bring many people as you want in that house to stay and no everybody have to have minimum space to live together you understand that is the that is the law but all those things depends on the contract you sign with the owner of the house that's why the contract is very important for you to understand what is contained in that information the information contained inside that contract you have to understand what is inside that contract brothers and sisters before you sign that contract you have to understand what is inside that contract please before you will have con- before you will have problem with the owner of the house you have to understand what is inside that contract you understand you have to know what is inside that contract so if you don't understand what is inside that contract invite someone who can translate that contract for you to understand in your own language you understand and the next thing in the information contained in that contract please before you sign any document in that contract before you sign anything in that house contract make sure you know what is contained in that contract you are signing because in tomorrow whatever is coming next is between you and the owner of the house you understand because when you are leaving the house you must inform the owner of the house 3 months before you are leaving the house and all those information should be inside that contract and the owner of the house if the owner of the house want you to leave that house the owner of the house should inform you 3 months before he will tell you he or she will tell you to leave that house so all those information should be inside that contract and there should be someone who should explain more information about that contract you understand you should not just sign any document which you know that you did not understand what is contained in that contract or any document you are signing in europe here so my advice for you any document you are signing in europe here make so sure you have someone who should translate that document for you which you know that you did not understand if you cannot read or write or you did not understand any language please find someone to explain that document that contract for you to understand in your own language there is many people who can translate that document for you to understand in your language because if you send that document the owner of the house come tomorrow and said you should go out of this house immediately and in that contract the owner of the house put that information that you should leave that house any time he or she want you will leave that house and you you do not read that information inside that contract you just come and sign that document okay and the rule say before you should leave the house the owner of the house should inform you 3 months before and before you also should before you also will leave that house the you should you should inform the owner of the house 3 months before okay but the owner of the house put that inform uh, put that information in the contract that any time he or she want you should leave the house he will inform you to leave the house immediately and you you do not read that document like that you just sign the document like that you did not know the information contained in that document you just sign the document that repercussion will be your problem tomorrow so before all those problems you should know what you are signing in that document 
You understand? So that my advice for you guys. Any contract you are the owner of the house, you should know what you are signing. You should know what you are signing between you and the owner of the house. Okay. And when you sign when you sign the document between you and the owner of the house, you should ask the owner of the house to take that contract to agency the entrata. That agency the entrata will will confirm that now you are the occupant of that house because if the owner of the house did not take that contract to the agency the entrata that means any problem comes any problem comes because you are renting that house because that house the owner of the house did not register that you are the you are the you are the occupant of that apartment but because the the owner of the house did not take that contract to the agency the entrata they did not register it in agency the entrata so if you rent any house you should ask the 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 the, the, the owner of the house to take that contract to agency the entrata so that the 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 house can the house will be registered that you are the occupant of that that apartment because if you don't do that tomorrow if there is any problem the the owner of the house can deny that i did not give this house to this person because he can hide that contract that okay i did not give this con this house to this person you understand he can deny all those things because the contract is not registered the uh, on uh, the contract is not registered in agency the entrata so let's be careful when we are renting the house we should confirm anything we are doing between us and the owner of the to rent a house in italy here now because any number you see they write there afito in english you call it rent if you call the number they said the house is for student why because foreigners here according to italians when foreigners rent a house in italy here they don't keep the house very very clean they don't keep the house clean and when they are leaving the house they don't clean the house they just leave the house like that and leave the house and they go like that and the person who will come back to that house will have a very very difficult work to do and the owner of the house or before the owner of the house will rent a house to another person that owner of the house will have a lot of work to do in that house the person who rent that house will not just leave the house like that and just leave he will not clean the house he will just leave that house like that he or she will just leave that house and leave it and just go like that he will not even clean that house and just leave it like that and go which is not right and that is the reason why now italian people don't and want that is the reason why italian people don't want to rent a house to foreigners in italy here it become very very difficult to rent a house in italy here now if you want to rent a house in italy here they ask for a work contract before you enter that apartment or before you rent that house they ask for a work contract before you enter that compound or before you enter that apartment you understand so it become a very difficult task to rent a house here because if you see any renting house if you call the number the person will ask you that okay this house is for student and if you have a friend italian friend that can call that number and said okay i need this house for you to rent for me if that italian friend call that number they will rent that house to that italian friend but if you as a foreigner call that number they will say that they are doing that because they say that the foreigners don't keep this house very well and that foreigners they select the foreigners will live rent their house not every foreigners 
they will they, not every foreigners they will say the foreigners these foreigners don't keep their house very well they select the foreigners there's other foreigners they will leave them to rent the house and there's other foreigners they don't allow them to rent their house why are they doing that because many of those foreigners not every for those kind of foreigners do that kind of things that when they rent a house they will just leave that house like that and go they will not clean that house no not all of them do that kind of thing but many of them do that kind of thing that's why they 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 destroy the reputation of others they destroy the careers of others when others want to rent the house they have difficulty to rent the house so we have to stop that kind of thing when you rent a house you do you want to leave that house please clean the house and leave that house gently don't just leave the house dirty and leave that house like that that's why many of them many of the foreigners are having a difficulty to rent the house now you understand if you call any number now people are saying that italian people are saying that this house is for students you understand so my advice to my brothers and sisters you understand if you rent a house you want to leave a house that house please clean that house very well so that anybody who is coming to rent that house will not have a difficulty to rent the house you understand to rent that house so that the person will not have a difficulty the owner of the house will have a courage to rent that house to another person you understand the other person who will call that number will not have difficulty to to rent that house please my advice to my fellow brothers and sisters if you rent any house if you are living in the house please leave that place gently so that anyone who is coming to rent that house will not have a difficulty to rent that house because to rent a house is a very difficult task now if you want to rent a house now you must you must have a working contract to rent a house that one is not like before because you know if you have a working permit you can rent a house but now if you have if you don't have a, a work contract you cannot rent a house it become a difficult thing because some people will even rent a house if you, if they know that they don't they don't have money they will just leave the house like that and just go so it become a very 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 difficult task for others to rent a house now that's why now if you, before you rent a house they will ask for a working contract so that they will know your the money you are receiving every month so please if you are doing anything remember that if you leave that house there's another people coming like you are the only person who is coming who is renting that house if you leave that house there's another person who is coming so please if you rent a house you are leaving the house don't just leave like you are the only person who is going to rent that house if you leave that house another person another person will come and rent that house so don't don't make things difficult for another another people don't make th- things difficult if you are living at the house if you live in that if you are living that house live gently don't make things difficult for another people please <laughs>